Hi everyone, welcome to Two Twins in Eve, your weekly update for EVE Online stuff. I am your host, The Lone Wolf. Last week I saw an interesting thread on the forums about inflation uh, with a few posts from CCP Soundwave. Uh, first of all, he wanted to let us know that CCP is looking constantly at the economy and will adjust things if necessary. While incursions only account for around 20% of new ISK uh, creation in the game and it's not considered the major problem, uh, personally, I would say that opening up the ISK faucet by 20% more through the incursions without the necessary ISK sinks to balance it out is what is driving the current inflation in the game. Um, on the other hand, CCP is looking at all options like increasing taxes and lowering the bounties. Uh, these bounties are what accounts for 70% of ISK creation. So personally, I would hold off from uh, converting all your ISK to plexes or to hard assets for now. Uh, you never know when CCP might uh, start fighting inflation more actively. CCP released a second video in the CDIA files series about the agent missions. And while it's very difficult to explain any facet of a sandbox game in just a few minutes, I think these uh, videos do a great job, so keep it up CCP. Crucible 1.5 has been uh, released yesterday, which marks the start of the new EVE launcher and the new rookie ships. A dev blog was also released by CCP Karkur on the little improvements. Uh, these improvements to the user interface include many improvements to the market window. One I really like is the highlighting of market orders in your route. There are also improvements to the route window, uh, a character counter in the mail, the character bio, the notepad and other text-based windows with restrictions. These are only a few of the improvements, there were many others, so check out the dev blog if you want to know all of them. I'm not sure if it was ever gone, but the body program is available, so you can give a 21 day trial to a friend, and if he subs, your account gets uh, 30 days of game time added to it. On the Eric Jalan side of things, Project Compass has for some reason prompted Concord to disable Control Tower's ability to display their distance from one another, making Eric Jalan's efforts uh, at mapping wormhole space in relation to the known universe uh, very, very difficult. Uh, why would they do this? What doesn't Concord want us to find out? Um, I'll try and provide updates as I get them. Uh, for the non-role-playing people, what happened is that um, Concord threatened Eric Jalan if they continued with uh, Project Compass that they would do this, they would disable a feature on the control towers that marked their distance. One member from Eric Jalan was actively using this feature by placing control towers in wormhole space and trying to map them in relation to uh, the known universe. And uh, his findings seem to indicate that wormhole space was actually very close to us, uh, very close in, in terms of, uh, of galaxies, of course, not like right next door. And now in the last patch, CCP has disabled this feature on the control towers just continuing this role-playing threat, I'd say, um, by having Concord take this next step. So it's going to be very interesting to see where this will lead to. Um, anyways, I'm off to the Dixie now to join uh, the Noob Swarm with uh, Dr. Ogres. So that's it for this week and I'll see you all next time.